Hey, this is the start of a brand new series where we're going to be making a simple farm game in Pico 8. It's actually kind of a reboot of a series I did a couple years ago that I never finished because I'm a bad, bad donkey. This time we're actually going to finish the game and I've simplified it even more. We're going to be doing the bare minimum to create a fun and challenging farming game, kind of like Stardew Valley in Pico 8, keeping things as simple as possible. It's really, really easy to overcomplicate your game. And so this is a fantastic exercise that helps you really scope your project. Let's get into it. All right, here we are in a brand new Pico 8 project. And today we're going to mock up our game. So I'm going to switch over to the sprite editor and let's just start making some ground tiles here. One's going to be green. We're going to have a couple green ones. And then we're going to have some grass in one of them, you know, like that. And then another one's going to have, I don't know, some kind of grass like this. All right. So we have a variety of different kind of grasses. And so then let's switch over to our map. And I'm just going to hold control and scroll with the scroll wheel. I can hold space to kind of move around here. And what I'm going to do is just fill this with green. And we're going to keep everything on one screen for this. So within this square right here. And so let's just kind of add some grass randomly here. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Okay, we're just gonna kind of add some grass here and there. We're just gonna kind of randomly spread these out here. It doesn't have to be anything special. Just gonna kind of put these wherever we want. You could probably do some kind of fancy random randomization and everything, but we're literally only going to use one screen. So we'll just kind of spread these out. Hold control and scroll in here and yeah, so this is going to be just fine. Let's look at our full screen. Yeah, something like that works fine. You can right click to kind of pick the different tiles. Just kind of move those around. It doesn't really matter. However you want to do that. So there's our nice grassy field. Let's mock up our player here. And we'll just put him kind of over here, maybe Sprite 10. I'll just put him on green. And what I think I'm going to do just to keep things so simple, because I don't want to animate a character, is I'm going to make like a robot guy. So uh, yeah, something like this. And he's just going to be like a floating robot. All right. So he's like a planting robot or something. I don't know. You know, like a little, little handsome man. All right. Have a little shine on him. Something like that. So there's our robot guy. We'll have a little shadow underneath him maybe. Yeah. Something like that. And let's put him on the map. Boop. There he is. There's our little robot. And we're going to have tiles. Let's just kind of put these down here that are like planted seeds. And let's just make kind of a planted tile like this. And we'll just put that in and put a couple seeds in the middle. So that's when the seeds are planted. Then we should make one where they're watered. So let's control C and control V. We're going to do that same thing, but I'm going to add a little bit of purple here, just like this. So like we put some water on this because we'll have to water the crops. I like this stage because you don't have to figure anything out yet. You're just kind of planning out what you want to do. So we have our normal tile and then our watered tile. And then see, eventually this is going to be, let's just copy and paste this. This is going to be something where maybe there's a couple sprouts like that. Copy, paste, and then let's fill this in. There we go. And however long you want things to progress, then you can just add more growth. So we'll add a few of these tiles. We might add more later. We'll see, but let's just kind of have something good. Let's do one more. Let's do like a full carrot kind of thing. We'll just copy and paste this. And let's do like a proper carrot. Yeah, maybe a nice wide carrot. Yeah, maybe it'll be kind of yellow on the top. And then we have its top like this. So it's like a fully grown carrot of some kind. Maybe we'll add a little shadow too. It's nice. Okay, and we aren't going to water that carrot. That carrot's going to be harvested. So let's just kind of mock this up again. And so we're going to put, you know, we're going to have some planted crops here. Some of them are going to be watered. Some of them are going to be growing. We'll have some carrots. We'll have some of these watered. Yeah, so that gives us kind of a good idea of what to expect here. And the other thing we're going to do is, so basically the gameplay is going to be the robot farmer moves around and he can select tiles, kind of like this white selection thing is happening here. He can select the tiles and then plant seeds. And then over time, the seeds grow and turn into carrots. He can harvest the carrots and sell them. So he needs to buy seeds and he needs to sell carrots. This, I think, is just the simplest way to do it. And so um, over here, let's just make, I'm just going to hold shift and select two tiles like this. Maybe I'll just zoom out, hold control and zoom out here. And we'll just make some orange tiles here. And same thing here, we'll make some red tiles. Sure. This is going to be buy. So I'll just kind of put in buy just so we know what the heck is gone. Okay, so we can buy seeds. And then over here, we can sell seeds. This does not have to be pretty. 
In fact, I promise it won't be pretty for a long time. We're just mocking this up, all right? We just need something to work with here. Okay, so we have buy and sell. Let's put this on the map here. We're gonna sell, just hold shift and drag these here. We're gonna sell over here and we're going to buy over here. The other thing we're gonna do is instead of sleeping, we're going to have kind of a charging station for this robot. So he has to charge his batteries, right? So let's do something else like that. So we'll go back over here and we'll just make this blue, I guess. There we go. C R G for charge. Okay. Yay. And we'll put charge like right in the middle. All right. So this is pretty much what we need to figure out to make our game work. It's always really nice to figure out kind of your main game loop. Okay. So that is basically what's the main action that kind of happens all the time. So we'll have our guy, our little robot guy, and he's going to move back and forth along the map. As he moves, it's going to select tiles. Uh, let's just make a little sprite like this. I'll just make a little square around the corners a little bit as kind of a selection. Okay. And this isn't going to be exactly how it works, but let's say there's a, there's a selection there. We'll fill this in with green just so we know what the heck is going on. Sure. Cool. And we'll have a little bit of grass there, right? So now he selects certain tiles with that yellow selection. So as he selects tiles, he can plant seeds. To get seeds, he needs to go over here and buy them with money. He plants the seeds and waters them. And then the day progresses and his battery also starts to run down. And so you'll have to balance your energy with how many hours are left in the day versus how many crops you want to plant and water and sell. And you basically just need to go and charge for the night before the day runs out or before your energy runs out. You do this for a couple days and you eventually get carrots. You go over and harvest the carrots. That adds carrots to your inventory. You go over to sell the carrots and then you get more money. Then you can go back over here and buy more seeds with that money. And it just kind of goes on like that. And as you get more money and get more ambitious, this gets harder and harder. We're also gonna calculate revenue. So at the end, when you finally die, it'll tell you basically like your score, which is making the most money you can as a robot farmer. So let's get this running. Function underscore init, function underscore update, function underscore draw. And in that draw function, we're just gonna say map. Save, run, and here is our mock-up. The only thing that we're missing is some kind of HUD. So let's go ahead and make that. What we need is some icons here, and let's let's just make these on kind of a blue, like this dark blue background, okay? So we're gonna have some items. One of them is gonna be money. So I don't know, we'll make some money like this, okay? Okay, there's some cash. We're gonna have a battery. So we'll do kind of a similar size to our money. I'll just copy and paste this. We'll just replace this with a battery kind of thing. Cool. And that'll actually be green as well. So there's our battery. We'll need to have some kind of timer, like the hours in the day. And so let's just make something like that. We'll kind of make a little clock here. Okay, there's a clock. And we also need a day. So let's make a calendar kind of page thing. So let's do that like this maybe. We'll have kind of a red top. I don't know why, but the icons for calendars always seem to have a red top like this. And then we'll have the two little like ring things like that. It seems like a calendar day. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Maybe we'll take this down just one. I think that still reads as a calendar. We can always change it. We'll also need to know how many seeds we have and how many carrots we have. So let's make those and let's make maybe another blue right here. We can always move these around. Let's do some carrots, maybe something like that. Looks like a carrot. And then a seed packet kind of thing, maybe like this. And I don't know, maybe we'll add little carrots on it or something. Sure, seed packet. Okay, and then let's mock up that HUD as well. So I'm just going to hold space and just come down here to the bottom of our screen. And let's just make a rectangle here on the bottom. And we'll add our seeds and our carrots and our money and our energy our time and our calendar. Save and run. There we go. Yeah, those are kind of along the bottom there. That looks pretty nice. Let's actually move these over a little bit. Take these and just move them over one, maybe two. Yeah, I think something like that. There we go. Save, run. Good. And the idea is that we'll have text here, numbers next to this. It should work. And we might need to mess around with that later, but it totally works for now. In fact, I actually want to take this down to the very bottom. Just move that down a little bit and we'll just put in some more of our grass here. Great. So here we have a pretty good mock-up of our game and what's going to happen. And so we have a nice little plan and we can kind of use this as our template 
for building the actual systems of our game. This is the best part because we can decide to include or not include certain things here before we code them up and spend a lot of time on them. And we can kind of imagine what it would be like to play this game. And it's really cheap as far as time and effort goes. That's all for today. By the way, if you're new to Pico 8, we have a free Pico 8 Essentials Workshop available right here. And if you want to watch all the videos in this series, there's a playlist right here. See you next time.